Hello and welcome to the Forge Studios. I'm your host Aaron Rosine and today we'll be doing a video tutorial on how to do some rotoscoping. Let's get started. So basically rotoscoping is kind of it's kind of hard to do if you don't know what you're doing. A lot of times there's not going to be enough contrast between the background and the foreground and rotoscoping will be challenging when that happens. So I've learned a way to fix that actually. And actually this is a clip from our short film called Vengeance. So uh, let's get started. So I have my footage here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take it and duplicate it twice. So Control D, or if you're on Apple, Command D. Next, I'm going to take the very top layer, go to Effect, Color Correction, and Curves. Now you may be wondering, what's this guy doing? If you've already rotoscoped before, you'll see what I'm doing. You'll see, just it's not going to affect the way your footage looks. So what you do is you take it and you contrast it. Contrast the crap out of it. Okay, so now you have nice sharp edges. Let me bring up the darks a little more so that you don't, you don't blend in with that background. See, you want that nice sharp edge. Want that nice contrasted edge. Perfect. Okay, that's pretty close. That's just about what we want. So let's save that. Let's get on to our rotoscoping. There we go. Okay, so double click on it with the selection tool, then go to the roto brush. I'm going to fast forward through some of this just so you will get the point. But here's how I start. So foreground we just click and drag get some uh, foreground in there so click and drag to make it bigger hold control and then left click go up and down to scale up the brush and just go wherever you want it to be green I'm gonna go right here right here and if you get some background in there by accident scale it down maybe press alt and use left click and get that get the edge in there make sure that's in there let's uh Bring that down and then make sure that's captured in there. Cool. Right. That looks about right. Okay, so let's go ahead and press spacebar to play it forward and let it track the edges. And if you see it start to go outside the lines, go ahead and pause it. Maybe back it up a little bit and fix it up. Very useful tool. Very useful tool. So go back to pressing play. So you click freeze. Let's go back to our composition. Go to our selection tool. Click V to get their fastest. Collapse that down. Let's ignore that. I like to go to this one. Go to our second layer. Call this one Roto Layer. Call the second one Matte Layer. And our third one Background Layer. So take the second one, the Matte Layer. Alpha mat. You want to alpha mat the roto layer. See what I did? Now the color from the contrast is gone. And we still get our foreground. Okay, now let's refine it. Let's go to feather. Change that around. For this footage, it's 1080p footage from the 5D Mark III. Let's make it about 20. See how much that affects us. Helps. Helps quite a bit. Let's keep that on there. Contrast, let's bring down to maybe 60. Contrast is kind of works along with the feather, but it keeps the edge from being super sharp. You know. And uh, let's make that actually around 65. Let's go to shift edge. Negative 10, I would say, because you don't want to get that grass background in there. Really. And if it's there a little bit, it's not a huge deal, especially since what I'm putting in there is not a solid object. It's not like I'm putting a a dragon or anything like that. And then reduce chatter, you want to go to maybe 15. So, let's go back to this. Click on our background layer I. And now, what I'm going to do is put a layer new solid. Call this trap code particular. Okay, now we're going to control, actually, effect. Uh, trap code particular. We'll do emitter. And put it around 200 for this sake of this tutorial. Let us solo this for now. And maybe bring this back so that it's starting before we see the footage. And you want to change it to a box, maybe this to 2,000, 
this to 1,000, and then this one to 2,000 again. Just want some depth. And then we'll go to uh, particle size, bring it up maybe to, actually keep it at five for now. Let's change this to um, cloudlet. Let's bring the feather as high as it'll go. The size is to 50, see how that looks, maybe a little more. Go to 100% random opacity. Bring down the opacity to five. And we need to bring this over maybe a little more, get more particles in. And then we'll change the life to 10 seconds so that they don't disappear as quickly. Let's do that. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change the uh, opacity over life. And let's click, just click on this preset right here. It's the fourth one down. It's got a, a linear shape, or not a linear, a, a ramped shape, so that Basically, when the particles fade in, they don't fade in so, f so you know, they don't appear right away. They actually fade in. So, well, next what we're going to do is we're going to turn everything back on. So, unsolo that. And we're going to have to... You can't really see it very well. So, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the opacity back up to maybe 10. The size up to 150. And let's take our position, bring it down a little bit, maybe put it up to five, no, sorry, 150 Z position. Now, this is where it gets, you know, more depth. So we're going to control D, not, not the effect, control D, the actual solid, the layer. So do that, we call this particular BG for background. Take the BG, put it behind the matte layer, under the matte layer, and above the background layer, and set the position to 500. And voila, now you have more depth. Let's uh, make sure that it's in there, that it looks right. And maybe at some point you could give the Fog some wind so that it doesn't look so static. Okay. So now you have it behind him and in front of him. So in front or behind and in front. And that's the best way, in my opinion, to do rotoscoping is to literally contrast your footage and make it make it easier to rotoscope. Let's actually take this to bring them this direction and see how it looks there. See, it's getting too thick, but I'll I can fix that later. Okay, but now you have the point. So make sure you go and like and subscribe to the Forge Studios. So like this video, subscribe to our channel, and watch more videos if you like this one. We have more tutorials coming out your way. And until next time, we'll see you later.